DigiKey and Adafruit present Hi on MPI. This week's Eye on MPI is Ideal Text with Technology at Your Fingertips. Lady Ada. Yes. What tell you about is it. the Eye on MPI this week? Okay, so I've done a lot of sensors and boards and cameras and like speakers, but I thought I'd actually do a tool this time because uh, I really like a good tool. Like a good tool saves you a lot of time. Um, it reduces your errors. Like a lot of times people think like I'm not good at soldering or I'm not good at building stuff. And it's actually because their tools aren't that great. Um, and recently we put into the store um, like some extremely fine wire. So good for like, I mean, it's actually like sewable wire. It's, yeah. it's so skinny. And um, somebody said like, well, how do I strip this wire? And I was like, actually, we don't really have a wire stripper in the shop that can strip wire this fine 36 gauge. But then I saw on digikey.com slash new, this new Ideal Tech, it's the WS3620, which actually going to make sense because it goes from 36 gauge to 20 gauge and it's a wire stripper. So it's like WS wire stripper 36 to 20, WS3620. Um, so it's by Ideal Tech and um, the price is really good. Usually I've seen um, these kinds of precision wire strippers be a lot more expensive. And um, what it's really good for is the really, again, that fine precision, very thin wires. So if you're using thicker wires, you might go with something like this automatic wire stripper. This one's good for like, you know, 20 gauge to 10 gauge, so really chunky wires. It's a big, heavy tool. And um, one of our favorite kinds of wire strippers is this kind, which has like the little notches in it. Um, but your wire has to match the notch. So you have to look and be like, well, what is my wire gauge? And then which notch? And then you line it up to the notch. And it's not too hard to use, but it, it again, it doesn't go less than 30, and even 30 sometimes is um, not that easy. So, you know, there are some very fine wires. If you're doing like wire wrap wires, those are 30 gauge, and, and sometimes those can be a little difficult um, for these uh, wire strippers to do. And then we recently put in some ultra, ultra fine gauge uh, stranded core wires. Um, sometimes these were called Litz wires, but they're, they're not actually Litz wires. But they're, they're Teflon coated, they're very thin, they go, 30 gauge is like the thickest. And they go down all the way to 36 gauge, which is, again, it's, it, it's basically thread at that point. But it's, it's a stranded wire um, with a coating, but you have to be able to strip it. And one of the challenges is how do you strip wire this fine without nicking it? Because especially with stranded core wire, it's very easy to accidentally nick it and then it cracks and breaks with usage. And the whole benefit of having stranded wire, which is flexible, it actually becomes a liability because it cracks and breaks at that point. So um, this wire stripper has like a little aperture. You don't have to tell it what gauge wire, you just sort of like, you squeeze it, you put the wire in, you let go, and then you do a little bit of a twist and pull, and the wire comes out stripped. So I can actually do a little demo to show it. Yeah, off. let's do a demo, and we also have a video that will play at the end, but let's uh, yeah. let's do the live demo. That's what we do. You want to believe the demo? Okay, so this is uh, Ideal Tech. This is, is made in Germany. This is a very it's a nice design. Nice design. Um, you can kind of read here. It has these, yeah, I don't know when you would ever want something 40 millimeters long, but you basically dial how long you want the end to be. So like, you know, 10 millimeters is the, is the wire strip length. And then um, you open it by squeezing. So it's got this nice squeezy feel. So here I've got some uh, yeah, 26 gauge, and this is silicone wire. Uh, so you squeeze, you put the wire in, and you can kind of see it uh, there. You, know, you give it a little bit of a twist. And then you pull, and you've got like perfect stripped nice. wires, like beautiful. You know, no nicking, yeah. no cutting, everything just comes right very cleanly off uh, and it's ready to use. So that's 20. Uh, six gauge and then this was the this was the challenge right this is 36 gauge so it's basically it's like a it feels like a hair yeah we uh, got these tiny wires and that was like well what are we going to do what do you do with them so like if you try to use um these kinds of wire strippers you either cut them by the cut the wire by accident because you can't get it centered yeah. like, like me or you know if you do get it centered it just it just goes right through because it's much too fine um you're not going to get 36 gauge in this style of wire uh, stripper. Um, however, we can. Hold on, this has a little bit of a. has the wire stuck in it. Okay, so now dial back to 10. Let's do. You put the wire in so you can see it. 
and then give it a pull. Wow. And this, this is so. This is one of those ones perfect. that it uh, gives you time back. This yeah. is a little tiny time machine because you're gonna spend so much time trying to get this right. Yeah, right, and cool. it's like perfect. Like again, all the wires come out. Like they don't. They're not shredded. Yeah. Um, on the way out, and then um, you can do it again. So cut, and then you squeeze to open. There's a little different. Some you, you squeeze to close, and then there you go. Perfectly wire stripped. So, this is nice. um, I think you know. Yeah, use use like this style when you've got uh, you know thicker wires, maybe if you like. But um, you know, because this only goes up to twenty gauge. But uh, we found it works quite well. We tried it with Teflon, PVC, and silicone coating, and it worked great. Stranded and solid core. So you can pick it up. Uh, I also like it's very comfortable in the hands, like very ergonomic. Um, you know, I don't know if I would use this every single day just because I'm so used to the other kind of wire stripper. But definitely if you're doing the very uh, precision wire stripping, I think um, you definitely want to have a special tool for it because it's very, very easy with those fine wires to accidentally nick them or um, not be able to get the, the cover off. And then it's like you keep stripping the wire and you're spending like four or five times just to get it right when if you have the right tool, you just do it the first time. Okay, and uh, we're going to tell you where it's at on DigiKey site. That's right. And we also have the short URL, so it's digikey.com forward slash short forward slash ZWWVF8, and it's 2014-WS3620 for the product yep. ID. Yeah, or just search for 30, WS3620 yeah. number, wire stripper, 36 gauge to 20 gauge, WS3620. All right, and they have a about minute-ish video, so we're going to play it. Don't forget to check this out on DigiKey, and that is this week's INOPI. All right, thank you. INOPI.